We're back at the Great Holiday Home Show here in Yorkshire and we've found Martin and we're going to go and find some amazing things to have a look at. Hi everybody, great to see you all again and as you'd expect it's very busy on the Swift Stand but we've got our Eden project, the closing <laughs> area. Absolutely right, let's go yeah, see. Yeah. What have we seen first Martin? Um, we're going to head over to the new Elegance Grande range so we've done some uh, significant changes to the layouts for this season. Um, and increase the range to six layouts with two new single axle eight foot wide beauties so, um, along with the new 860 which is you know a fantastic layout but I think one of the key messages we want to get about this being called the great holiday home show is the fact that there's loads of touring caravans and motorhomes to also look at so the show's open today and tomorrow but it's well worth coming because you're going to see such a variety of products and there's loads going off and you know particularly with the current weather it's just amazing isn't it? It is absolutely yeah, I just want to address the weather. Yesterday it was probably as hot but it was humid, so I'm being very terribly British. But we are at a holiday home show and that's what we talk about, the weather. <laughs> yeah, we it's love it, today. don't we? Yes. <laughs> but it couldn't have been better really for, for the first Harrogate show. You know, one of the concerns when you do an outdoor show is the weather, because you know, if it's chucking it down, the product never looks its best. I think one of the key things is because we're outdoors you do get to see the product as you would see it in the use when we go to the NEC show it's under you know yes. natural conditions it, inside a, a building and you don't get the airiness and the natural daylight that floods into the product I must say we have brought back the weather from Morocco with us haven't we Lins? and half of the Sahara in Argentina actually <laughs> yes, happy days. Um, just in layman's terms for most people who aren't swift who don't know much about Swift, uh, and the Elegance is actually a caravan, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah, so it's called the Grande range. Anything with Swift that's eight foot wide, we use the term Grande. So that's through Sprite, through Challenger SE, and through the new All Exclusive. But every Elegance is an Elegance Grande. Um, but, you know, as you'd expect with any Swift products, it's all got smart construction. We're celebrating 10 years of smart. And what smart is, is the totally GRP outer show. So glass reinforced plastic, We've got a hell proof roof, um, so it's really robust, it's bonded, it will take the weight of a person. We don't recommend you standing up on there, but you know, it's a really fantastic feature. The sidewalls are GRP, um, and on the exclusive Challenger exclusive, and also on the Elegance Grande, it's two tone grey. But if you cut through this, there's no scratches, it's all it's impregnated into the GRP. Uh, fantastic. You've got full diamond cut alloy wheels, and this caravan being the top of the range has got everything on it mm -hmm. so we've got air conditioning which we're doing a fantastic offer with Truma at the moment on Challenger exclusive and also on Elegance Grande you can have it fitted by Truma for a thousand and fifty pounds that is a deal that is a bargain isn't it yeah. and on a day like today let's just say we'd love to have the air conditioning <laughs> outside you can see um, it's also got the EMP factory fitted option so for wow. 3,395 pounds you can have EMP levelling done so it's just press button and your legs will And that's come down. new for this year? No, 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 we, we launched no, it last wow. year, we did brand new last year mm -hmm. um, but it's also on the, the two new single axle Elegance Grandes as well. Okay. It's unique to Elegance Grandes. So we'll go Let's go and have a look. Let's go and have a look. I can already see some familiar um, features from Arpentiki. As well. right. This fabric is gorgeous. I described it as buttery and I still love it. It's, it's warm beautiful. to the touch, it's ultra leather. Oh. Um, and it's vegan, which people will love. So no animals have died in the process of manufacturing this. <laughs> um, but the beauty of it is it's consistent and also it's warm to the touch. So unlike natural leather, where you get differences in the, in the hides, it's a consistent look, mm. but it, people love the feel. So it's definitely worth looking at it, even if you're not a massive fan of it. We do a free of charge fabric option. So this is called Dusk. The free of charge fabric option is called Truffle, and that's got a, a, a more, it's got an aqua clean material to it, but it's still got the same level of stitching. So some people with dogs are, are concerned about leather mm. uh, or an ultra leather. Um, but with, with the fabric scheme, it looks really great. But as you can see, there's just the house. The, the doors are stunning. They're manufactured by Technoform, which is a fantastic Italian company. I love the new catchers. They're, They're very, very nice. swish, aren't they? Yes, and something else we noticed in here. Yeah, just was there. Squeeze, yeah. These drawers, they are excellent. 
Soft clothes draw, as well. Yeah, yeah. I have draw envy actually. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Can we get them retrofitted? <laughs> <laughs> Where does the world is away? Oh, <laughs> no. Martin said it. It's true. <laughs> um, bleach cleanable carpets. This one. There's a lot of hidden features in on Elegance Grande. Um, so you've got the 100 watt solar panel on the roof, which we've gotten a lot of on most homes, and it's on all of our ranges apart from Sprite mm. um, on touring caravans. Um, and we've also got the Aldi underfloor heating, so it's got the Aldi radiators running around the interior of the caravan, mm. but it's also got the underfloor heating, so you've got a double Ooh, whammy snug. with it. You know, that it's stunning. Um, and it's got a 30 litre onboard tank. We've got the new control panel as well, so it's, it retains command, but we've gone to a new 7 inch, really easy to navigate control panel. Just quickly show us that, Martin. Um, yeah, so literally, if we press to home. You can see a host of features, so you can dim your lights like you could do before you can switch your awning light on. Um, we can look at um, the power coming into the van. We can, Because it's got the 100 watt solar panel, it's drawing power in that will maintain and top up your battery. Perfect. So if you want to do a bit of wild camping, it's... It's you know, possible it's in the perfect. caravan there. Yeah, wow. definitely. Um, but the, the key thing, I think, with command that not a lot of people are aware is that dealers can do diagnostics on your caravan when you're on in the field. So if you have a problem with anything electrical on the product and it's got the command control panel, the dealer can log into your caravan and see what's happening and, and, and advise what can be done. That's brilliant. Um, and also, you've got the app. So if you're on a walk um, and you get a bit lost, you can use the GPS <laughs> to find your caravan. Yes. If the temperature drops, you can switch your heating on. Um, so a host of features there are on it. Um, one of the, the ones that a lot of people like is when you're on site. Um, a lot of the sites on the continent have um, different amperages. You can set the amperage of the site. So um, say for example you plug in a hairdryer or a kettle, it will automatically drop all the rest of the electrics whilst that appliance is on and then uh, come back. So Brilliant. You know, it's just great. We had that trouble we did. We, we had to lower ours to six amps because yeah. we were tripping out the electric, wasn't we? So yeah. it's good you can do that. You've also got Aldi Flow on it as well, which is a feature we have on Contiki. Um, and that basically gives you constant hot water. So if you if you set it to boost, you don't have to wait for the tank to, to warm the water up. It's immediate. Um, and so you can draw water in and, and continue with your with your shower if you're mid shower because there's nothing worse is there if <laughs> you run out of water. It's got the great Dometic fridge in the twin axles. It's the slim fridge in the Right. Uh, it's the two way one again. Um, Fantastic. And if we go to the bedroom area you've got the features as you'd expect on any of our thick beds, which is the Duvalet Duvalite hypoallergenic bed. Um, it is an amazing bed, so it's got um, you know memory foam fibres in it. Um, and so many customers, once they've had this, it's one of the key features. They upgrade their beds at home with it, yeah, <laughs> which is really positive. We've got some stunning features. So um, at this level, which is our top of the level on Elegance Grande, you've got two thermostats. So you can set the temperature to the bedroom or the temperature to the lounge. Some people like to have called the bedroom. Brilliant. Um, and you've also got the feature to press button by the side of the bed to open your skylight. Um, That's so, electronically? Yes. Wow. Yeah, so, you know, we've tried to think of all of those details. There's USB points in all of the lights as you go around. And again, that's across all of the ranges when you go step from um, Sprite upwards. Loads of storage space. Um, we've put access into the uh, side um, lockers as well, so you can get into those from the outside. And you've got TV points everywhere. Um, I love this shower space. I think it's a really, really good space that I can get in and do my hair as necessary and shall i take that from you and show the bathroom how can you manage it and here in the toilet again it's beautiful really good space it goes across the body of the vehicle so that is awesome oh and that and lifts it's that a head fancy up fancy changing bed so give you, you more room as well for daytime yeah. use and that's a new feature for this year so, you know, it, we try to think of everything. And what I like in the washroom, the key thing is, is the Omni vent. So you can, there's an extractor in there. So there's nothing worse than, you know, getting too hot in the shower right. and, and then yes. coming out. So you can extract all of that air. Perfect. Bleach cleanable carpets, that's across all of the product. That's one of the swift differences. And all of our fabrics are tested above domestic level. Yeah. Um, so, you know, this is just a house. There's so much to talk about it, but it's really worth looking at the details on our website just to understand what is actually in there. Yeah. yeah. And I think we forgot to mention on the command, the proactive tracker, which so many people want. So it's a Thatcham 6 approved. 
Um, and if you take an annual subscription, it's £100 a year, you've got European coverage on that. So if your um, alarm is, active, is, is armed and someone was to steal your product, you should get a telephone call from the call centre or you will get a We did, call. absolutely, yeah. We got a call, didn't we, on ours. We had ours active and as soon as we got on the ferry, we had a phone call. I was going to say it's ferries that usually tend to <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's we nice to know that, you know, it's such a good system and it will help with your insurance premium. So you've got all the hosts like your... All of um, the Elegance and the Challenger SE and the Challenger Exclusive all come with um, the Arco Secure Wheel Locks as well. Um, and when it's twin axle, you always get two because um, some thieves will just right. you know, punch you one tyre and tow it away. So it's yeah. important on a twin axle, you always fit both of them. Um, and also another key feature which we haven't touched upon is on all the heavy duty corner steadies on our products there's also a locking bolt mechanism so you can lock the rear corner steadies. Oh, so you lock them down? You can put a padlock through them. Right. So there's basically um, on the tube that comes out the back of it there's a hole cut through and you, you've got that extra security. It's all about just slowing down. Um, but I think what we've found is because so you know a lot of people know the amount of security they were on a Swift, yeah. they stay away from them. Right, so. <laughs> there it is. Right, let's look at another. Come on. Oh, I forgot to mention on Smart, oh. didn't I? Sorry. One of the key features when you look around products, just it's just a note when you're looking at competition. Is one of our things we pride ourselves in is that we have seamless panels, and that's because this is. It looks like wallpaper, but it's an embellishment on the internal GRP. So it's a balanced sidewall on, on the sides, but unlike our competitors who still use plywood, which we, you know, stay away from, um, the, there's joining tape across the vans, and that denotes where... where and we saw that going. when we had a tour of the factory and we saw how they were built, didn't and we? for anybody who doesn't know what GRP oh, is... It's glass reinforced plastic. There we so are. So we buy rolls of it in, but the idea with the Swift product is it will stand the test of time. That's why mm. we do so much testing at the factory, and that's why we use very expensive materials. So we manufacture our own fronts and backs um, and glass reinforced plastic composites um, components because we design our own fronts and backs. Unlike many manufacturers just assemble parts, we would rather put the quality into the build and meaning that you have trouble free leisure time, yeah. you know, and it's key. And I think the key thing with smart construction, if you get a breach on a seal, say for example, a window rubber goes, you know about it. But unlike um, caravans that have timber frames, this has got polyurethane frame, which is pure. Um, it's an engineered product that won't absorb any moisture. Mm. So you, you get a lot of water coming into your product, but it's not damaging the carcass of the product. It's not meaning that you're going to have to take your caravan on motorhome for many months whilst they repair it. it, it it's a quick turnaround. Fantastic. Um, Chris, come on, let's go and look at another one. Let's look at another one. <laughs> That's what I love. <laughs> Whenever we get to talk to Martin, we get all the information and I need that. Right, we're going to head over to the new um, Challenger Exclusive. Challenger SE and Challenger Exclusive come in um, nine layouts. Um, and we have the, again, we have the Grande layouts, which are the eight foot wide layouts, and also the seven foot six wide layouts. Um, so again, all of the Swifts, apart from the base camp and also the Elegance Grande 835 because of the fire ex escape route and you'll see on our motorhomes have the two low right cycle bars already fitted in place. They'll take up to 50 kilos so you know it's a really good feature if you want to be out and about. A lot of our competitors don't have a strong enough panel to actually take that so again right. it's something to, to just note. So um, the Elegance is your premium range? Yes. Sprite is en um, entry, entry level. level, but it's Swift entry level, so yeah. I want <laughs> it's got all the features of smart construction and all the sort of added bonuses, but it just misses a lot of the it, it, it's the upgrades basically. It's still a fantastic van yeah. and still continues to be our most successful range. Right. But, um what we've done for 2024 is we've replaced our dealer specials that many of you may be aware with one new range it's supplied through 10 of our, our our largest dealers and basically it gives you a lot of the features on the challenger se level but on the challenger exclusive a lot more features so on the exterior you'll see it's got the two-tone sidewalls which is the same as the elegance grande giving it a really stylish look on the outside as well, I forgot to mention, we've also got the heavy duty jockey wheel, which is on, on the Elegance, on the Challenger exclusive. So there's a host of really, really great features. Um, and, you know, I just think the graphics look amazing. But the key thing is, it's also got command. When you move to Challenger, it's got a new four inch control panels, but it doesn't have all of the, the key aspects that are on command. So it, it's, it's a very easy to navigate one, but it's not seven inch like it is on the exclusive. And it doesn't have the built in tracker, which we think is really premium. 
Birmingham. But I think if you look at the fabric choices that the team at Swift and our design team have worked on, it looks really high end. It's really calming in here and really lovely. And um, it's got the similar um, embroidery pattern, embroidery stitching pattern as are in the, the Elegance and also our Contiki as well. Very nice. And uh, you can get this across nine layouts and you know, there's pretty much something for everybody from the 480 right up to our our all new Challenger exclusive 670 which gives a family, we had a lot of families that wanted the Audi central heat and that's the big difference when you step up from um, from Sprite to Challenger. It's got a great um, blown air heating system in the Sprite but some people once they've had the Audi wet central heating which sort of um, warms the whole fabric of the caravan or motor home they don't want to move away from it, it's so good. So it depends, you know, how important the heating system is to you and whether you're going to be using your vehicle throughout the season because every product at Swift is cold chamber tested. So we take every range to a Truma, we put them in a massive fridge, we drop the temperature to minus 20 and it has to reach 15 degrees centigrade in under four hours to claim grade three. Wow. All the Swifts achieve it in under three, so Brilliant. it just shows you the level of insulation that's in all of our And we've done the other way, where we've just taken ours to the <laughs> Sahara Desert and we've tested it in extreme heat. And yes. you're pretty good in that as well. Yes. Very good. So again, it, it's all about the insulation. But I think one of the key things, any of our products is, positive locker catches are a really key feature. Mm -hmm. All of these USB, uh, sorry, all of these down lights have USB points in yep. the back of them as well. So. Mm -hmm. um, this is something that a lot of people don't necessarily pick up on in a touring caravan, but having the access into that bed box, we think anything that's practical is a really key feature. Nothing should have just one use. And also, just look at those curtains at the front, but yeah. we have twin track curtain track, ah. which basically means when you shut those curtains, the material crosses over. Yeah. Again, all of our competitors just use single track. Um, and few have positive locker catches like us. So I love this. I love the fact that in a caravan you've got your fly neck, you've got your blinds as well, and also the curtains. And the four-sided cassettes, so that's something worth noting because a lot of our competitors have three-sided and it allows lighting. So the beauty of the fact that it's four-sided is like really key. So there's a whole host of things you really need to be looking at when you, you buy a Swift. Um, but, you know, again, it's a well-spec kitchen. You know, again, you've got plenty of drawers. We've even got a really nifty little <gasps> cutlery drawer just there. So it's really trying to maximise the space. The hot plate's really important as well. So if you're on hookup and you want to save your gas, you yeah. know, we do have the three gas burners at this level. We don't have the hot plate on Sprite, but everything else in the range has the hot plate. And then we've got, we've taken the plate, so it's a flatbed microwave. Flatbed microwave, as we got in ours, yes. Yeah. Lovely, Brilliant. fantastic. Um, but you know there's a variety there's something for everybody like this is the very popular um, 560 layout which has the center washroom one of the things we've done in our washrooms is take the window out um, and put large heckies in instead because what it does it creates can you see the size of the, um, right. the cabinet the cabinet now that would have just been a waste of just push it oh there we go push and release but, yep. you know, it's so great to have stuff somewhere to put your stuff, particularly where every bit of space in the caravan or motor home is so valuable. It is, yeah. You know, but yeah, we just love it. And I think, you know, come and have a look at the product. Go on our website. There's all the details. It's swiftgroup.co.uk. And there are still tickets available on the gate here if you want to come to the Great Holiday Home Show at the Great Yorkshire Show Showground. Yep, we'll do. We'll just fly past Base Camp because we, yep. you yeah. know, Base Camp continues to be a fantastic, crossover vehicle for so many people um, just to the right ah, yeah. um, we've got the base camp 4 here so this is the family layout but we continue to do the base camp 3 which has a drop down fixed bed at the front and the base camp 2 which loses the side bump but I think when you see it with the Van Gogh 2 awning air beam awning you know, it just creates so much space. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? You know, and I've what not we... seen it with the awning on. Have this you? is brilliant. No, it adds a whole extra room, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. And it just creates, particularly on the base camp too, yeah. it really gives, you know, a huge living space. But again, we've got some really fantastic features in this. Because it's for the more outdoorsy people, we've put all the fixing positions. If you just come and have a look at this, Steve, but in the floor, the beds literally lift up and you can put oh, bikes yes, in there yes, and tie yes, them down. Yes. This this is an adventure mobile, I think. Isn't it? Yeah. People absolutely love these because literally one of my friends has got um, 
a base camp and you can load these up take them home so if you if you if your base camp is in storage um you literally take your dirty washing home in these mm -hmm. repack them and bring them back and just load them back and just hook them back in simple i use it for my shopping as well we've got phoenix worktops in here as well so they have uh, nanotechnology so basically if you were to get a small scratch on that you can apply heat and it will self-heal, the oh, self-healing worktops. Fantastic. Um, it's very clever. You know, but everything about it is great. It's still, it's got the command control panel again. Um, it doesn't have a, a radio though. So all of the other products, that's something we need to mention with the new um, command system is the radio is now separate. So right. we have a Bluetooth dub radio. Um, it's not part and parcel of command anymore. So, you know, we've okay. got a JVC radio in there, but not in the base camp because there's nowhere to put the speakers. Gotcha, okay. gotcha, um, gotcha. You'll be out and about on your bike. And ah, yeah, yes. It's yes. for yes. hardy, yes. outdoorsy people, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. But um, it's got the 200 watt solar panel on the roof. And it's got all the features you'd expect to get on this Swift. But, and they yeah. pop in just as simple as that, Martin. Yeah. Yeah. Amazing. Great bulk bed, so it's cantilever bulk bed. So it'll take and 13 stones of weight on the top bunk so yeah you know everything about it is robust it's just a, a really successful bit of kit and our boys would have loved that when they were smaller Absolutely. and then you've got your washroom which is all combined but you know we love the base camp lovely lovely right we'll head over to motorhomes yeah like one of the things just to mention is i don't know if everybody's aware but we have a company part of swift is swift go so there's a lot of people before they purchase a motorhome that want to um, try it. Um, and we're very fortunate at Swift that we have our own hire company um, that will go out of their way to look after you. So we've got two sites, one outside of Manchester and one um, in Scotland at Livingstone. So basically, if you're thinking about buying a motorhome and want to give it a go, I would definitely recommend on, on you know getting in touch with Swift Go. And the beauty of Swift Go is we do try before you buy, so you can pay for your trip. And if you decide to buy a Swift, you get refunded in about a minute. So. And the really important thing is that um, you can try your layouts. When you're buying a motorhome or a caravan, the key is the layout, finding the one that works for you. Um, and that is such a great way. We will leave a link below somewhere. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's something to just point out. Swift Go are here today, so you yes. know, they'll be here at the show. But We've I actually think, sent a couple of people to talk to them today yeah, as well. No, but, it, but it's great. And yeah. I, 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 I think with the motorhomes, we did a host of changes last year. We had a fantastic year with motorhomes. It continues to be, oh. you know, the, the growing side of the business for us, along with holiday homes. Um, but we've got a fantastic new range, which is the 400 series um, Voyager, which is more aimed at the family market. So there's more seat belts in them. We've got the overcab bed, um, but it follows the success of the four um, 5 Series we launched last year. Um, we've also got um, the new Escape range. Now Escape um, had a similar level of specification to um, the Voyager range, but it's based on fear. But this year we've put the all-important Aldi heating system in there. Right. So if somebody re really has had a touring caravan or really wants, you know, that the warmth and the benefits of Aldi heating, you can now get that in the motor home. So, you know. Would you like to pop into first? And I'll make sure we've got... Shall we go to the far end? Because we've still got, we've got Monza still. So Monza is our camper van which has been you know phenomenal success for us we've got two of the colors here as you know we do three mm -hmm. so we've got the chrome blue and the metallic gray which we've got at the top we're swift we've got something for everybody really um our panel van carreras have been a fantastic success for us as well you know following covid so many people have wanted to you know tour and use holiday in the uk but we're just going to walk past the carrera it's stunning interior. The Mons is fantastic. I've used one myself. I've had a, a weekend away in it with my family. Absolutely fantastic for us because we do tenting and all sorts of holiday. Um, and, but you know, so many features on that. But a lot of people want an internal bathroom. So depending on how you're going to use the Carrera, sort of gives you the next level without having to move on to a coach-built product. Gotcha, gotcha. So we're just heading over to the Monza. This was launched last year, wasn't it? Uh, the year before. Year before. Only, yes. Um, last year was its first full year. Right. And we had fantastic success at the NEC. Yes. Um, you won an award on this one, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. We won the uh, Camp Van of the Year, which was absolutely amazing. But the thing is, with the, camp, with the Monza, is, is the way we construct. Ford approached Swift because they wanted to work 
with a, a business like to with the engineering side of it. So everything is homologated with this. Um, everything is you know to the high standard from the SCA roof. Can you see how high that roof is? Up there? Right. When you actually look at the competition, it's really important to pick up all these features. Based on the based on the four Torneo, and um, it was so easy to drive. It's like driving an automotive car. You've got Apple CarPlay on it. You can you know link your phone to it. Um, it drives at a really comfortable level, um, and it's just got a whole host of features. Like the rock and roll bed is amazing. It creates a six foot four flat bed. Yeah. Really easy to to use, and I, from my own experience, it's really really comfortable. Um, we've got the Ebus Spacker um, heating system, which runs off the diesel, and again, um, they're, they're I was the best you can get. April, right. It was absolutely amazing. Um, even when we go upstairs into the bedroom area huge bed and it's got the frollo springs as well so it gives you a really premium feel to the bed and the beauty of the rock and roll bed if you just come here okay. around the back okay. is that you can push the seat right forward so if you want to go shopping you know so many people are using this as their day vehicle mm -hmm. you know um it, it's just got that the whole practicality thing being able to load up your car um, and if you want to change the position if you've got young children i've got a nine-year-old son and they can't be too far away from us so um literally you can bring that seat forward and position it where you'd be in a driving position Brilliant. so many of the one-man bands that create motorhomes just you know have it in a fixed position and i think one of the beauties of what swift can do is, is the way we execute the curves and the lines there's two different finishes um on the on the kitchen so you can have it in, in the white or the black um and you know it's, it's just a fantastic feature my wife loved all the little things and everything there's yeah. so much storage space in as well so you know it's, it's just a really stunning Stunning vehicle. Good stuff. Right. Where next? Um, Where next? We look at a Voyager 400, so just look at it. Is anybody in here? Any changes for this year on this model? This is totally new. This is a brand new Voyager? Yeah, the 4 Series is totally new, so we bought it out in, in four layouts, and as I said, they're aimed for the family market. So we'll step inside. Oh, this is nice and familiar. The, um, this is nice and familiar, this style of um, travel seat. Yes. I remember this very well. And the over cab bed, we, when the boys were little, they loved being up there and camping out with each other. Yes, yeah, yes. It's nice to push them out of the way as well, so you can still <laughs> use your lounge area. Yes. And everything. But this layout, the 475, it's got like a fantastic lounge area. So it comes with the tables and everything. But you know, you've got such a great sort of seating space and entertainment space, which you want with a family van, you know, um, depending on the age of your children, it's nice to have the two seating positions. So, you know, you could be there having your family meal, but again, you know, all the fabrics, all the USB points are all here, all the features you expect to get on the Swift and all of the, the, the smart construction um, aspects I mentioned when we were on the touring caravans, but, you know, we've been thrilled with the success of of, of the we love a rear lounge, so it's we good do. to see this. Especially uh, as a family, travelling as a family, having separate areas that we can go to, and we can, especially on rainy days when the kids need, you know, to do something, and we want to do something else, we don't all watch the same things. It's good having that level of separation, and and it just feel nice. like a very separate sort of component. So, yeah. you know, what what we do at Swift is we try and absorb as much information from, you know. Uh, like the, like yourselves you know mm. gleaning as much information from everybody so we can produce layouts that are actually practical yeah. and are going to satisfy all the different people that are coming into the marketplace yeah. um, and i think by listening and you know there's so many features we've taken on board which you know I've, we've we've gleaned from being at shows yeah. you know unfortunately i've been at swift 26 years and i've loved every <laughs> every part of it but you know you do get to know your customers and i can walk into a product and you know i can see things that we've adapted and i think your feedback has done a lot of changes to the way our kitchen is now is in the contiki oh, we've excellent. put a lot more storage space in there and yeah. you know the, there's no point as a manufacturer just producing what you think the market's going to want you've got to do a lot of research and we do a host of research and you do it. listen to your customers yes we've got to. absolutely we've, got we've to. seen that we've seen the evolving we want repeat customers and, and we also see it's quite interesting because we're the only manufacturer in all three sectors that somebody who's had a touring caravan may move to a motor home may move to a holiday home um and if they've been looked after by swift what we tend to find is they ask for swift and want to retain and i think you know it, 
it's key and you know one of the reasons I've worked for Swift is because we look after our customers and you know we want to be there for our customers we're not perfect <laughs> um, we make our mistakes but you know we do react to those and you know we've got a fantastic customer services team um, on touring caravans and motorhomes for this season we're launching something called my swift life um, which is basically linked to the factory so literally anybody body buying a new or used swift motorhome from a swift um, dealer and will be invited to join my swift life and it give them um, a, a port where they can communicate with our customer services team and um, they can have service reminders and there's how to use guides as well so brilliant you know we just want to be there for, for everybody and and you know if things do go wrong which sometimes they do we want to be able to sort those out as quickly as possible great stuff martin well yeah. thank you very much for showing us around these motorhomes today what a fun job we have. Oh, we love it. Isn't, isn't it? Lovely, coming and meeting people. And, and seeing lovely them. people as well. There's yeah. some really, really great people. And everybody's in the leisure time, aren't they? Yeah. Don't Absolutely. forget, links are in the description, guys. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. We'll catch you next time. See ya. Bye.